Welcome Climate Viewers, my name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at ClimateViewer.com. It's August 12th, 2018 and I have some unfortunate news. Um, I'm going to have to cancel the trip to HARP. Um, I know that I asked a lot of you to uh, support me in a uh, trip to go to the HARP Open House. Um, it's August 25th, 2018. Um, but unfortunately, I've uh, got some bad news from the doctor. Uh, just had a recent blood draw. Many of you know that I've been battling with Graves' disease and trying to fix it naturally. Um, but I've had some real uh, hiccups um, recently, and it's not going well. Um, Basically, my, my most recent blood draw, they said that I have now switched from hyperthyroidism to hypothyroidism, which is uh, weird to say the least, but um, the breakdown is pretty simple. My thyroid stimulating hormone is at 18. A normal range is 0.5 to 5.5. So 18 is extremely high. And my free T4 count is at 0.4 with a normal range of 0.7 to 2.0. So the doctor wanted to put me on um, levothyroxine, which is normally prescribed to people with hypothyroidism. It's what they were going to prescribe to me after they cut my thyroid out. Um, and they want me to be on methimazole at the same time and propanolol for heart palpitations. Um, so, you know, this has been a rough ride. Um, right now, I'm experiencing something new. Um, and I don't know how um, else to describe it than I'm going blind in my left eye. Um, I have an eye appointment this week to figure out what the hell's going on, but basically, um, in my left eye, in the center of my view, I have a dark gray spot. Um, I still have some peripheral vision, and um, last night I was outside in the dark, and my neighbor's window was well lit. Um, if I close my right eye and I look directly at the window, it is completely black. And if I look up to the sides, I can see the window light up again. And then I look back at the window, it is black. So there's definitely something wrong there. Um, my, <clears throat> my, um, Anxiety levels have been through the roof. I have been getting no sleep at all. Um, been averaging going to sleep around two to three o'clock in the morning, sometimes four o'clock in the morning, because I have no ability to sleep, and that's despite taking uh, medication to help me sleep and taking um, herbal teas to help me sleep. I just I can't sleep at all. And despite going to bed at, you know, four o'clock in the morning, I'm wide awake at 830 in the morning. So, um, all things combined, um, you know, this fixing my thyroid, uh, naturally is not going so well. I have been able to gain 10 pounds. Um, so that's a, a real good one for me. I've been pretty stoked about that. I've finally gotten from 140 back up to 150. I've pretty much been 50, 155 pounds since I was 15 years old. Um, but regardless, and I feel strong, you know what I mean? Like I, I you know, I, I have no problem, you know, doing my exercises and things like that. But, you know, my blood tests are showing that things are going dramatically wrong. And, um, you know, with the loss of sleep and this vision, this new vision problem, it just started a week ago. Um, I'm really concerned about my health and it's all, you know, it's very much stress related. Uh, I've been doing yoga. I've been doing many things to try to, you know, fix this. Uh, we've switched from, um, you know, I've com completely quit eating meat. 
um, that also helped a lot. Uh, was very tough. I quit caffeine, quit smoking. Um, you know, I quit gluten, dairy. Um, I'm taking CBD oils. I'm using seed products. Um, there's so many things that I've done to try to change my diet and everything. And maybe that's why I'm now hypothyroid. Uh, but just to hear that I've now switched from hyper to hypo is weird in and of itself. Maybe I have Hashimoto's, maybe they have it completely diagnosed wrong. Um, but my thyroid, which was shrinking, it shrunk from 16.5 inches around my neck to 15.5 inches and has now come back up to 16. So all things considered, um, you know, I really need to just take care of my health um, and I'm going to have to cancel this trip. And I really wish that I didn't have to. Um, you know, I was really looking forward to it. Uh, and I do want to thank, you know, everybody who have, has supported me so far. Um, you know, there, there's several people who have donated uh, to the GoFundMe. You know, as it stands right now, it doesn't look like we were going to hit the mark anyway. Um, just the ticket, the, the plane tickets alone are $1,300. Um, round trip for me and my wife um, and then you still have car rental um, you know even the Airbnb as cheap as it is uh, all things being you know equal you know we've got less than two weeks to go and I don't I really don't have the energy to be out there pushing every single day begging people to donate to a GoFundMe nor do I, I want to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on my health, um, and I'm going to I'm going to miss this, uh, but maybe next year, um, if you know, I'll have my health together, and we'll be able to do this. But like I said, I really want to thank everybody who did support me on this GoFundMe campaign. I will use these funds um, on the, the new Climate Viewer 3D that's coming out. I needed to purchase a server anyway, so I'll be using that for um, for those purposes. And uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and discontinue this this campaign so that nobody else can contribute because I don't want anybody having any um, you know faults. You know, hope that this is going to actually happen. I hope that you guys will pray for me. Um, yeah, this has been a roller coaster ride with the thyroid thing. I um, canceled my thyroidectomy back in June, and um, I don't actually see another thyroid specialist till September 27th. And uh, you know, luckily I've got my you know family prac is basically you know taking blood draws and making sure everything is going normal, which it clearly is not. Um, but I'm doing everything I can to stay healthy and I, I want to be able to continue doing what I'm doing. But it's obviously it's obvious that I'm going to need um, to take a break uh, at some point. And my goal is to finish up the new Climate Viewer 3D at the very least. I've been working my tail off on it. And uh, I think after I get that done, I'm going to have to take a long breather, um, do some deep yoga and you know, really get myself to a peaceful place because this is a very stressful job. And, um, you know, I've endured numerous attacks, death threats, um, you know, over the last seven years. Um, you know, one individual group uploaded 500 YouTube videos, including penises in my mouth, 2,000 threat tweets to my police department that I was a pedophile. Um, just recently, a member of Kaku, Chemtrails Are Killing Us, uh, wrote an email to the um, head of AMS so that when I went to the weather modification conference, uh, they kicked me out. Um, you know, this is a term called swatting. Luckily, they didn't send an email saying that Jim Lee's coming with a bomb because that's, 
you know, how this thing works. Um, there was actually a case where an individual uh, literally was playing a video game and he called the police and said that another gamer um, and a first person shooter had a bomb in his house and the SWAT team went in and shot that kid. And of course, the jerk that did it went to jail. But with these chemtrails are killing us Kaku trolls, um, you know, they're fake accounts, fake people, and uh, kind of hard to track down. I hope that I can regain my energy at some point and do just that because um, revenge is a dish best served cold. But regardless, all of this takes a toll on my um, my health, um, my stress level, and uh, right now, especially with this new vision problem, um, I don't know what to think about it. And uh, you know, I'm like I said, I'm going tomorrow morning to the eye doctor to have them figure out what the heck's going on with my eyes. But regardless, um, nothing's going to stop me from following my passion. My passion is telling the truth about what's going on in the wacky world of weather, geoengineering, pollution, privacy, and propaganda. And in order for me to be able to do that, I need to take care of my health. Um, and I'm doing everything I can right now to do that. But the timing is obviously not right. Um, taking a trip up to Alaska in and of itself would be a very stressful event. And, um, you know, I really need to take a breather. So I hope that you guys will understand this. Um, and I hope that the people who've supported me so far on this GoFundMe will understand this. I'll be posting this video over there to that and canceling that GoFundMe immediately. Um, but understand that, you know, you can't, uh, you can't do this if you've got a rocky, you know, a soft foundation. And right now with my health the way it is, I need to really focus on that so that I can accomplish um, some of the bigger tasks that I set out to do, like the Environmental Modification Accountability Act. Um, yeah, I need to be able to get up to D.C. and talk to people at the State Department about fixing the issues. And just the thought of that unnerves me to no end that, you know, I know what happens to activists who really try to change the world. And I deal with that stress as best I can, but right now the stress is getting the better of me and I need to focus on my health. So I love you guys and I mean it. Um, I do apologize, you know, to all those who are really looking forward to, you know, me hitting up harp. I wanted to go so bad. I still want to go. Um, but it probably will damn near kill me. And by the time I get back after flying 18 hours on a plane, my thyroid will probably be the size of a basketball. So I hope you guys will understand and continue to support me. Um, but yeah, I'm canceling the GoFundMe campaign and I'm going to continue to press on with, uh, you know, my project working on the new climate viewer 3d. You guys will be seeing that here. Um, shortly I'm almost done with it. Um, but Hey, it's a rough road out there. Uh, you guys have no idea what I've been through, but that which does not kill me only makes me stronger. So I will continue to do what I'm doing, and with your support and your prayers, uh, I will regain my health and, uh, you know, be able to actually get out of the house and, you know, do some real activism and change the world. That's my goal, um, but, you know, like I said, without fixing my health, um, I'm doing myself a disservice, doing my family a disservice. And I need to be here for my two daughters and my wife. And, um, and I'm going to focus on that. So with that being said, um, I hope that you guys will continue to support me on Patreon and PayPal. Um, you know, I'm going to be trying to do everything I can to find alternative means of, uh, income. Like, um, I do a uh, website design. If anybody needs a website, I would love for you guys to, you know, hey, 
hit me up. It's at rednet.solutions. That's rednet, R-E-D-N-E-T dot solutions. Um, and that's where I, you know, design websites. If you're an activist, if you're just, you know, a business owner and you need web services, uh, maybe you could help me out by um, hiring me. But regardless, um, this GoFundMe is dead in the water. I will be killing that. And the trip is over with um, because of, you know, all of these health concerns, namely the, you know, the eye blindness thing has really got me kind of scared. So I'm going to go deal with that and I will keep you guys updated. I appreciate you watching this video and I appreciate everybody who has sent thoughts, prayers, um, juicers, uh, you know, supported me in my efforts to try to fix my Graves disease. Uh, but you know, at the moment it's getting the better of me and I need to find a better way. So I'm going to continue to press and I hope that you guys will, um, you know, continue to watch uh, my videos, share climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. And I hope that you guys will remember to attack ideas, not people. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work. So come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.